Um, what what would you say is, are some of the like misconceptions people have about LinkedIn? Why why they would be reserved as, um, in in not moving forward or going all in? Um, misconception. I might not use it for for. I, I might not use that word. Let me think of some misconceptions. But one of the biggest challenges I see is that people get in LinkedIn and they're overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. I get in, I'm overwhelmed, I don't know what to do, I don't know where to start. Um, The profiles look like resumes, I'm not looking for a job. These are the common things that I hear from people is that they're overwhelmed. So there's two sides to the coin on LinkedIn. One is the profile piece, the other is the engagement piece. LinkedIn has this really cool thing called a social selling index, and we can even give people the link whenever you post this. Um, it's it's linkedin.com slash sales slash SSI for social selling index. And what they do is they measure your branding, but they, they measure your profile, but then they also measure your engagement. So it's very important to make sure that you have a customer centric profile that's written and maximizes keywords and the keywords that you want to use are what your customers are going to be searching for when they're looking for you. Oftentimes we get into such a great expertise in our business that we start to look for a lot of jar. We start to use a lot of jargon and that's not what people are searching for is our jargon so you have to stop and think well what are the natural words and phrases that people are searching for and you need to use those in your profile sometimes they're annoying like um everyone's using thought leader right now so okay we don't want to use thought leader because everyone else is using it but that is going to be a search term so you want to plant it in there somewhere you don't need to make it the highlight but you want to put it in there um a few times so that way that keyword search becomes and creates a relevant connection to the person who's looking for you. The other side of the coin is the content and the engagement. And that's a lot more extensive. And people say to me, but I don't have time to do LinkedIn. It's just, it takes a lot of time. And my thought is if you are a person who is in a business development role, and that could be the CEO of a company, depending on the size of the company, to sales and marketing. If you're a business development person, you don't have time not to be in LinkedIn because your time spent there is on business development. So if you're just in once a month, that doesn't really help you. And this is such a great tool to connect and engage with business decision makers that you don't have to be salesy or pushy or aggressive, but you are giving them value. This is the place to be. So I look at that and say, if you think five minutes a day is too much time to spend on business development and prospecting, you might want to shift your thinking Hmm. about this tool because you might actually be missing opportunities for yourself by not taking it and putting your arms around it and making it one of your biggest pieces of your marketing strategy. 